Most of us are blissfully unaware of the painful challenges of living with autism. However, for those on the spectrum and their families and caregivers, the educational difficulties, fears, and discrimination they face are all too real. There are a lot of misconceptions about people with autism. They have the same wants and desires. They want friends to be included, have a greater role in their community, and to live a meaningful life. What is different is how they process the sensory world around them. It can be really difficult for people on the autism spectrum to identify their own thoughts and feelings and to identify the thoughts and feelings in others and then to act on that changing information. Some of the biggest challenges that we face when working with kids with autism, first off is making sure everything's individualized to each of these kids. Everybody has different experiences, backgrounds, adventures as I like to call them. Applying a one-size-fits-all in the sense of we're gonna do the same program for each person does not work. Every kid learns differently, and this isn't just for the kids, like therapists learn differently, parents learn differently. My son is 23 years old, his name is Tristan. We officially got diagnosed at two years and 11 months, about 20 years ago. We make all kind of bargains in the beginning, but then you come to the realization this is gonna be a lifetime thing. And that's, I think, when you really pull up your boots and get to work. There were many roadblocks along the way. You've got to find out what is going to be the way they learn. He has made tremendous progress, and I attribute that to ABA, Applied Behavioral Analysis. That was key in teaching him how to read and to write. Without that, he would not be where he is. ABA therapy works by identifying the wants, needs, fears, phobias, and communication style of each individual. One of the things I always teach staff and family is that our job is to work ourselves out of a job. It's to make sure that we can help this kid become so independent that they don't need us anymore. The majority of people on the autism spectrum require 30 to 40 hours of ABA per week. It takes an entire village to give a comprehensive program to a child. It does take a village and I really tried to keep us all on the same page. We used to have team meetings with his village, the families, the therapist. We could apply what we were doing on a consistent basis. I think people are unaware of the aging population. Many people do improve greatly, but many people don't. It makes me sad today when I see um, our older guys, our older population, and they did not have that opportunity to partake in early intervention. My son, he may not always like what you're asking him to do, but we'll get out our ABA toolkit. I think the biggest solution would be people that care. Our society doesn't know about the value of our population. I believe once people meet our kids or know them, they're going to see how perfect they are. They are innocents walking. They deserve a happy life just like we all do. They just need a little extra help to get there. I want them to put them on the exact level that they need and try to actually get close to the kid instead of just putting them in therapy to see if they can get, like, be more normal, which is not a good thing. Like, let them be them. If someone you love is struggling with autism, Concept Connections can offer a solution providing one-on-one -on -one individualized treatment in a naturalistic setting. Their mission is to give each student the unique tools they need to be healthy, happy, and live their lives to the fullest. The vision and mission of Concept Connections is to provide excellent clinical services while providing a true community for our children and adults. We want our kids to come here and love it, to feel like they're a part of something, that's because I just love to do looking at space. He's with my friends. We learn about planets like Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. We make our kids here the advocate for what they want. We've had kids actually be able to tell their parents about their day. These small little things just like that that we take for granted. How to walk on a sidewalk, how to ride a bike. Those are some of the biggest victories for these kids. Winrose Academy is a nonprofit school. Under the medical model, there is a lot of red tape. So through the school, we're able to put on musicals and we do field trips. Winrose Academy brings the community part. 
My dream for a kinder and more compassionate world for people with autism is one in which they are truly included to help raise awareness and help raise their value. So if you see a kid tantruming in Kroger, maybe give it a second thought. Maybe it's not a rude kid. Maybe it's a kid having a challenge. One thing that I know is prevalent is people with autism being mistaken for like a criminal or an intruder, and so they can become accidentally hurt because law enforcement has no idea. Sign your child up immediately for swim lessons because unfortunately drowning is the leading cause of death for our autism population. Those swimming lessons could really save your child's life. These people have a right to be in society too, and for them, the world is their classroom. Just let them learn, free of judgment, and be kind, offer a helping hand. It might be hard, but you can do it. And cut. Visit our website today.